It is a multi-million dollar question. Who will build a new single terminal airport in Kansas City? Right now, companies nationwide fighting for this opportunity. But as 41 Action News reporter Dia Wall explains, it all comes down to certain criteria. Dia. Yeah, Kevin, you just said it. There's interest from across the country for both the construction of and the financing of a new terminal here at KCI. So we wanted to ask the city how they're going to determine who gets those bids. We've done work at KCI since its, uh, since its beginning. We uh, were the original designers of the airport. Now Burns and McDonald is one of several firms hoping to design a new terminal at KCI. I mean, there are a lot of people that say from the start, this seems like a done deal. It's not. We still have work to do. Building a new KCI is a tough sell for lots of people in Kansas City. I'm not sure if I will vote for it or not, because um, it's, it's fine like it is now. And I think that's a lot of money to waste on our airport. I like our airport the way it is. There are also questions about transparency in the project, predicted to cost about $1 billion. Well, because the way we initially started didn't seem like we would be as transparent as we could. We've changed the process a few times, but now we're trying to make sure that anybody who wants to take a look at this bid can. The committee is made up of Aviation Director Pat Klein, Council Members Jermaine Reed and Jolie Justice, and a few others. We asked what criteria will determine who gets the bid. Uh, the first part is going to be what's the value. Second part is how do you work with local businesses. Third part is how do you work with the airlines. And I think we're going to be looking at track record. But the request for qualifications and proposals says the city may change criteria, criteria weights, and rankings at any time. Because this still requires a public vote, we can't hide everything and just expect everybody to trust us. You have to show people what's going to be the plan. Burns and McDonald says if they win, they'll listen closely. It's not very often that, that you get to take a proposal like that straight to the voters and see if they agree with you. So, uh, so to us, it's the ultimate in transparency. The deadline for companies and firms to submit those proposals is on Thursday. That's also when people like you and me will get to find out how many the city got. August 10th is when their financial information is due. Then the council is going to kind of go through all of those, hopefully come up with two finalists, and they'll have just two weeks to vote if they want to get this on the November ballot. Live at KCI, Dia Wall, 41 Action News.